today we're going to be doing Italian inspired stuffing, ciabatta bread, fiamma sausage, pears, sage, fennel sofrito, some currants, and some pine nuts. So here we go. Okay, so I have this beautiful ciabatta bread and we're going to cut it into some nice cubes. Again, we're going to be doing a very rustic stuffing. And the key to a great stuffing is sweet, salty, savory, the right balance and then texture. So you want to toast the bread or use a stale bread because you've got a lot of wet ingredients in there and you don't want, you know, a soggy mess. So you want a, a bread that can hold up. We're not going to add any oil. We're not going to add any salt to this. We're just going to toast it dry. It's about 350. We don't want to burn it. We just want to dry it out. So you're probably used to making like a mirepoix, which is a great flavor base for anything, uh, celery, carrot, and onion, but today we're going to be doing it the Italian way, so we're going to be making a battuto, which has fennel instead of the carrot. So we've got our chopped up fennel, celery, and onion. Just toss that, cook that down for about 15 minutes, so when we come back it'll be golden brown, full of flavor. While we're over here, let's check on the bread got really nice crunches. There's so little moisture and it's still kind of soft, so we'll cook it a little bit longer. Let's go ahead and cook up our sausage. So you've got your sausage links you want to slice down the center so we can pull it out of the casing. We're going to start from a cold pan on this. Let it cook sear for a second, and then we'll break it up. Check on our bread. We've got a lot going on here. All right, so this is perfect. We'll pull this out and let this sit. So we don't want this to stick to the pan. So you, this is something that you're going to kind of be moving. By the end, you're going to have, you know, the perfect size crumbles there. But just like everything we do, it doesn't have to be perfect. So delicious. And then you've got this really wonderful sausage. So we're going to add this all in here. So now we're going to add the batuto, the celery, onion, and fennel. We're going to add some sausage. You can strain all the fat off of it. I just kind of strain it by not dumping the whole thing in. We're going to add some toasted pine nuts for some crunch and, of course, a nice nutty flavor. We've got some dried currants. You can do raisins, cranberries, dried cherries. And then we're going to add about a half a cup of sage. We're going to chop it up, release some flavor. So about a handful. So you want to add like two eggs, three cups of chicken stock, toss it all together. This all in your pan. We're going to slice some red pear. If you want to toss this in with it, you can do that. You can finely chop them, but I love the way a beautiful, nice sliced pear look. So I'm gonna throw them on top. And I will be making this for my family this Thanksgiving. My husband, Ted, my brother, Johnny, my mom, Belinda, who I am very thankful for all of them. So we're gonna bake that at 375 for about 40 minutes. I might turn the heat up right at the end to give it a little beautiful golden brown crust. There we go. And we'll be back to check on that. So here we have this beautiful Italian stuffing. It's got amazing fall flavors and it has a beautiful Italian or a Katie's twist to it. So I highly encourage that you make it for your family and that you enjoy it. Let me know.